so um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about my why story. Um, when I was a Mary Kay uh, consultant, they always said, you know, talk about your why. And I did it as a blog post um, on my website, but I never really um, talked about it in this format. So I figured I would um, try try this and talk about it a little bit um, as I start going into other things with my travel business and um, really explaining. I think a lot of people don't see the value in in using a travel agent and um, it's funny I I'm a librarian in my other life um, and so it's funny how I tell people that I'm you know I work in libraries I'm a librarian I'm an archivist whatever and people for the longest time people were like libraries still exist like isn't everything online and it's like well no <laughs> um, we still exist and so when I tell people that I own a tra my own travel business and people are like travel agents are still a thing and it's like yeah we're still a thing and actually like our industry is growing um, I think a lot of people so many people rely on Orbitz and Expedia and Google that um, really like we're the experts and we're the people that you should come to when you have questions and um, if you're traveling and um, you know I reach out to friends and I say hey can I add you to my client list and they're like oh I don't travel or I book my own stuff and it's like that's fine um, you can do that but don't you want an expert on your side don't you want someone to advocate for you like do you really want to be on the phone when you have to change or um, change plans or something comes up or something you know your flight gets canceled and then what do you do um, whatever the case may be like we are those experts and we know where to turn um, when things go wrong there are a lot of um, travel agents out there that have people that are like oh I booked this trip on my own and now it's going down the tubes can you help me and it's like well no because you booked it on your own so there's not much we can do for you once it's past that point so um it's funny that i get the same reaction from both careers um and so i did i've actually done a lot of um research in grad school um about travel agents as a community and um kind of how we learn and why we are the experts and i always say like you know you go to google and there's a million hits for Paris vacation and it's like don't you want to be talking to someone that knows all the ins and outs and that has a network of people to ask questions on your behalf to know that you are getting the best deals you're getting the trip exactly what you want you are getting the service that you expect um, you are able to do the things that are on your bucket list um, that's really what we are there for to do right so um, you know I specialize in Disney and Universal um, I really that's what I know like literally like the back of my hand probably better than the back of my hand actually <laughs> um and it's something that I get people all the time just asking about Disney trips um and like hey you know when's a good time to go how old should my kids be etc cetera, etc cetera. and um really it's like well I'm happy to give you that information and give you my opinion um but I'd really really like it if you book that trip with me <laughs> um because I can do all of those things for you. I can make your fast pass reservations. I can book your dining reservations. I can set up your transportation. I can give you a full itinerary if you want it. I can give you all of that expertise that I have, especially people first time going to Disney that have no idea, especially Disney World where they don't even understand. It's four parks, two water parks, and a shopping area. Um, there's 36 resorts on property like it's huge and it's especially for a first timer that has never been there before it can be completely overwhelming um, and I see so many meltdowns not just from kids so many adult meltdowns um, that it's really like I want your trips to be as great as mine are um, and that's really where I get super like you can tell I'm getting really excited to talk about Disney um, and it's the same with Universal um, I love both I do get the same way about Universal. Um, I've really come to love Universal in its own respect because it is so different from Disney and a lot of people, um, I find a lot of people think that they're like either the same thing, they're owned by the same company, and they're not. They are so completely different and so um, I love imparting that knowledge to people and really showing my expertise and showing people like 
no, they're completely different and these are the reasons why and this is the reason why you should book with me because I have all this expertise, I can give it to you and you know, text me and I can answer anything for you when you're there in the parks if you needing help, if you need, um, if you have questions about what's going on or what you should be doing, recommendations, where you should be eating, all of that kind of stuff. Um, that's the expertise and that's really why if it's not with me, somebody else, another travel agent, another travel advisor, um, because that's what we know, it's what we do. So um, really to get back to the overall question of this video, uh, why, why becoming a travel agent? So um, in 2011, I became executive assistant to the director a lot of what I did was booking travel for him. And then also at that point, I was booking a lot of Disney travel for myself. Um, and so I was planning these itineraries, figuring out reservations, booking flights, um, booking hotels, booking transportation. Um, and then also as the years went on, I was doing all those stuff and um, like I was doing it, I was learning how all of that worked and you know, where to find the deals and all of that stuff and all the different resources that were out there. And then in 2014, um, my husband at the time had gotten a new job and we were gonna be moving. So um, I got another full-time job um, up on the northern side of the state. And um, just before that happened, like a month before, I really started to think about like, well, what do I wanna do with my life? Um, what am I good at? What do I, you know, I think the question I saw, like, of course I was, I worked at a library. So I went and found books about finding your purpose and figuring out like what you should be, do, you know, what you should do with your life. And I think one of the questions was if money wasn't an object, what would you do every day? And my thing was drive. <laughs> um, I really like to drive. I really like road trips. I really like just I mean obviously sitting in rush hour traffic is not fun um, but getting in my car listening to music driving I mean out here we have random dirt roads that go nowhere um, we have the wide open plane so like you can just drive and drive and drive and never see another car I told my best friend that I was like you know I, I did this thing and I you know I think my thing is really that I really like to drive and she's like so you're gonna become a truck driver <laughs> I was like, no, I don't think I would want to be a truck driver. Like, that's not exactly the the way that I was seeing this. And it really came down to, I think I want to become a travel agent. And like, I think about how um, really for me, it's because I really like to plan. I really like itineraries. I really like calendars. I really like scheduling. I really like coordinating all of those different pieces and where things go and how they fall in and making sure you have enough time and um, all of that kind of stuff. So um, uh, that was really where it started going. And then there was another book about, um, either how to become a travel agent or a home-based travel agent or, um, just the travel industry in general. It was so long ago. And I feel like there was like two or three books that I brought home that I was reading, but one of them was talking about host agencies, um, and how, when you're getting started, having a host agency is really a good way to start and really, I like to think of it as my host agency is like my corporate headquarters, right? So they provide me all of my support and education and um, kind of my network and they provide the contracts and um, all of like the financial side of it. And um was looking through this book and um, Dugan's was the company that stood out to me. I did research online. I found them online. I was able to kind of read more about what they were doing and it really just stuck out to me more than anything else that I saw online. So I set up an interview with them, a 30 minute talk about what I had been doing and why I wanted to become a travel agent. And really, um, as we were talking, I was like, this is what I've been doing. You know, I just now want to get paid for it <laughs> um, and be learning more and being able to expand to booking other things and learning about other um, locations and destinations and she said that you know this is absolutely how everyone starts like you have a passion you have a drive for it uh, much like other people do in other things so it just makes sense that you can start a business doing this and so from there like I 
started learning I and mean, I had never been on a cruise in my life. Um, I had really only been doing Disney travel for the, what at that point, four years, three or four years. My bucket list was always longer and growing. And now whenever I go to a conference, like we haven't, there's, it's like a biannual conference. Like we deal with spring one and a fall one and you can go to both, go to neither, you know, whatever. But whenever I go, um, it's like my list just gets longer and longer and longer. And I'm always sending pictures to friends and family. Like I want to do this. I want to go here, et cetera, et cetera. Like it's always just, um, there's always a new place that I want to go to or a new place that I want to see. And so, um, I started doing it and like I've in those first two years I was booking I booked a river cruise I booked Iceland I was booking um, other European trips a lot of road trips across the United States like just you know hotel one night here hotel night here you know things like that and piecing all that together um, and really and of course Disney <laughs> a lot of Disney um, and then after that um, when I didn't renew my contract and I, like I talked about in my other video, like just, um, wanting to get back to it and really missing it and really missing that, um, family that I had with Dugans and it's why I came back to Dugans. They really did welcome me with open arms and it was so great to be going back to the conference and seeing everybody, you know, seeing a lot of familiar faces and new faces and just seeing like, there's a lot of us out there that are doing this you know, it's our, we're all independent contractors. So it's like, we have our own business, but they are all more than willing to answer questions, help out, talk about their experiences, talk about what their clients are doing, um, things like that. So it's just been, it's such a great community of people working together. Um, and it's very much like, I feel like there's a lot of companies where, um, especially in sales where like you're competing with each other. Right. And I feel like, there's a lot of, there's been this kind of change to, we're not competing with each other. You know, my niche is Disney. There's other people that specialize in Mexico. There's people that specialize in cruising. Um, so I feel like that's why it's always a great idea to book with a travel agent. Again, if it's with me or somebody else, like be using that advocate. It should not cost you any more money to book with a travel agent than if you booked on your own. Um, there's a lot of people that do charge service fees, um, which are put towards your trip. So it's just, we're using our time to do all this research for you. And if you don't book with us, then we don't make any money. And that's really, um, why a lot of us, um, I mean, I've even contemplated starting to charge a service fee because I do get a lot of requests from people. Um, and I spend time doing that research and then they're like, okay, thanks. And I never hear from them again. And I never, like, they never they just take that information either book on their own or they just don't book. Um, and it's like, well, I just spent all this time and I didn't get paid. Um, so that's really why. So if you see a service fee, that's why we want to make sure that we aren't just wasting our time. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I really do encourage people to book with a travel agent, travel advisor, whatever you want to call it. Um, because we really are there for you. We are learning every single day in the industry um, to know what, especially now, um, what's happening, what the changes are, we are there to go to bat for you and to make those phone calls and to do what we can for you to make your trip seamless, um, to make sure that you have a really, really great time. Um, and that's everything that you hope it would be. And that's, I don't know, that's all I have to say. Like, it doesn't hurt at all to book with a travel agent. I think I'm lucky enough that I'm with a great host agency that really, um, we are all there to be doing what we're be, what we're doing and making these trips awesome for clients. So, um, I will say, feel free to follow me on here, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Um, you can find me on Facebook and, um, if you, I don't, I don't like to say that I have a newsletter, but I do have an email list that I send out deals to occasionally. So feel free to submit that form on my website. Um, or you can just message me and say, Hey, add me to your client list. I'm happy to do that. Just takes an email. Um, and so it's super simple. So anyway, I hope, um, you're doing well, staying healthy. Um, hopefully soon we'll be able to get outside and yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.